is Miss Narelle here and welcome back to a new video. In this video you're going to be seeing me color a drawing I did of Lord Shishamaru and Ren from the anime Inuyasha because Mama Cupcake actually brought it up to me that February is the month of fan art and I'm like I'm down for this. I originally didn't want to do it because I just don't got time to do drawings as much anymore because of school but I'm like I can spend a couple of hours out of my busy schedule doing a fan art and I was highly inspired to do this fan art from one episode of Inuyasha the Final Act and Inuyasha the Final Act is the last official 26 episodes of the series so if you guys do not like spoilers skip me ahead because this is a spoiler and I have I actually avoid talking about spoilers on my channel and you guys know me I hate them but I can't really explain my inspiration without telling you guys about the episode so again pause me and skip me ahead if you do not like spoilers because I would hate the ruin in Inuyasha the final act for you guys and I really feel like it's just an experience because Inuyasha I'm just going to say this now was my life and I grew up on it and it's just one of those shows that I would not want to be spoiled for me so again please Please just skip me ahead. So the one episode that really inspired me was when Ren was about to be dead for sure because Shishamaru's mother did something to her and Shishamaru had to go with Ven to Tetsega and get a power to bring her back to life. And the quote that he said, because I'm so in love with quotes, is that nothing is ever the cost of Ren's life. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing ever because it's shows how much he does care for her and I really wanted this picture to show how much they love each other and I don't ship them as boyfriend and girlfriend I ship them as father and daughter because I just don't see any romance between them like come on so um yeah and I really love the fact that they benefit off of each other because Ren was saved by Shishomaru and she is forever indebted to him not in a bad way in a good way and she loves it and Shishomaru was saved by Ren because she was the way for him to love humans again and I just thought that was super sweet I love the fact that he didn't need a girlfriend to love a human he got it from a little child and I just find that the sweetest thing ever and out of all the relationships in Inuyasha they are my favorite and I just Ah, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, what about Inuyasha and Kagome? Like, they are cute, but Shishomu and Ren just got me. They got me in the heart. And one of my other favorite episodes in Inuyasha is Forever with Lord Shishomaru. And that is what I titled this piece because I found it really fitting. So, um, moving on, what I used for this piece, I actually used some paper from the sketchbook I commissioned Nautica for, and that paper is a major. It's that car sock paper that I love that she sent me because she sent me samples in my Christmas package last year and I vowed that I would not use that sketchbook for sketches. I would just use it for finished artworks. So I actually sketched this picture in my sketchbook, used my light pad to trace it over to this piece of paper and then I finished it. So for the line work, I used a Prismacolor multi-liner in the size of 03. I colored this with Prismacolor coloring pencils. I did the background in a hashtag coloring marker in black. And I did that effect with rubbing alcohol to add some stars or like circles in the back. I don't know what you call them, but I used that technique because I felt like it was fitting because I was thinking ever so hard what to do for the back background because I wanted the background to be soft and serene and I felt like that fitted the most so I did that and then I went over the circles with some with my white Prismacolor coloring pencil then I used my Sakura jelly roll to outline them and then add stars in the background and then I signed it so that's basically all I use for this piece because it's technically what I use all the time and I'm actually really proud that I actually experimented with this piece because I normally wouldn't do that because I'm a type of person that stays within my safe zone and I feel like we as artists need to get out of our safe boxes 
and I really love how just this turned out as a whole. So all in all, this is one of my favorite artworks I have done for 2017, and I have put this up in my art shop if you want to get your hands on it. I'm like crying because I really don't want to let go of this piece, so if people don't buy it, I'm going to be so happy, but if you really want this piece, it's in my shop for purchase, so I hope someone buys it and loves it as much as I do, and this picture is really tiny. It's not as big as people might think it is. It's like the size of an index card times two, so it's not really that big in person, but it's beautiful, and I just love staring at it, and that is what I'm doing now. So, um, I really want to do another fan art for February, and I really want to do something else besides OC drawings. I know I said for this year I really want to do just my OCs, but fan art is lovable. So if I can afford to do that little poll thing, I will have it up on my top side of my screen so you guys can vote for what fan art you will want me to do. Of course, I will have set shows because I really don't want a show that I know nothing about. So just pick a show that you guys have heard of or you love or you just think is interesting and I will do fan art for it because I just live for fan art and I'm not promising the fan art will be done by the next day that you pick it's probably going to be done by the end of February because I want to evenly space these out so that's that so thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for loving me this far I just hit over 830 subs and I'm like oh my god I am dying ever so slowly and it's just amazing seeing how much I'm growing over time I am not one for subs I'm one for love and just seeing how much people love me just really does put a smile on my face. So that's just that. So if you guys want to do fan art of a show that you really love, go ahead and do it. I know a lot of people, again, are not in the fan art mood because a lot of people think fan art is what gets you popular on YouTube. And in some cases, it is true. A lot of people want fan art rather than original art. But if you do fan art, it really does show how much you love an anime and yes so you don't have to upload 10 fan art videos just you know to do fan art you can actually just do one and just have it sustain and i forgot to actually say i use pastel and this because i found the black very boring so i actually did add some blues in the black just to give it some more color because i've been ever so obsessed with pastel so um that's nice and i recently found those because jmi gave me those last year and I lost them and my brother found them for me and I'm like thank you so much so we're wrapping up I'm actually re-inking some of the lines because somehow with this paper my line work gets covered up really easily so I had to go over some of the lines that I saw that was important in the piece so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video so remember to vote if you want to vote so yes bye guys